So, welcome back. Uh, in this lecture again we discuss uh, the question of extension of a function to a larger domain uh, and some density results. So, we have already seen uh, some extension results and density results for some special domains namely uh, rectangular parallelepiped and cubes. Okay. So, we are going to use those results and obtain uh, an extension result uh, for a general domain. Uh, for that we need to put uh, some conditions on the boundary. Uh, so, I will first start my discussion with a uh, general definition of uh, surfaces and integration over the surfaces. Okay. This is a brief introduction uh, that is sufficient for uh, our purpose. Okay. So, let me start with a discussion uh, on n dimensional surfaces. in R n. Okay. So, we also call them hyper surfaces. Okay. So, let me start with a simple thing. So, uh, let S 1 be a simple piece. that is. So, this is a special case of uh, a surface that is S 1 is described by an equation of the form P x prime. So, this I have chosen these coordinates for simplicity, but this could be any. Uh, so, this is in R n. Okay, so, this S is one is sitting here and you project it to R n minus 1 and that is the domain that is the surface x n uh, the n dimensional hyperplane x n equal to 0 and so, this x prime is sitting somewhere here. So, this is I call it d this is in uh, x n equal to 0 and any point here is denoted by x prime and so a, <coughs> a point in S 1 is nothing but x in R n where this nth coordinate is given by phi x prime for some x prime in d. Okay. Such a thing we call it a simple piece. Okay. <coughs> so, on such a simple piece we can immediately. Uh, so, this for example, if you want to compare it to. Uh, <coughs> so, this any surface need not be a simple piece all the time. So, in two dimension we can get some examples. Okay. So, this is I will write as just x and y. Okay. So, if you take a uh, curve of this type, you can only project it on to x uh, y equal to 0, but if you take uh, something like this, you can always project it to on to x equal to 0, but then in between you can always uh, so, there are many curves either we can uh, project 
on to uh, so maybe some other color just for the illustration. So, blue. so if you have curve like that, so you can <coughs> project either on to x equal to 0 or y equal to 0. Okay. So, these are some, but then there are also complicated uh, curves, so which are not simple. Okay. So, this you can have like that. Okay. These are not simple. Okay. So, we can similar to the line integral in R 2, we can define the surface integral on a simple surface integral on S 1. So, if f from S 1 closer, so S 1 itself we can assume it to be closed, but okay, I will just write it is uh, continuous, then it is integral. So, I will write it integral over s f d s this is by definition. So, you can again use for example, Riemann sums and etcetera. So, you can easily see this one. So, this is f x prime p x prime and then there is a factor this 1 plus grad phi square. Okay. So, this is d x 1 prime I will put. So, this is an n minus 1 dimensional integral. And remember this d is the projection s 1 okay, put s 1 uh, projection of the simple piece s 1 onto this hyperplane x n equal to 0. Remember that and this grad phi square. So, we are going to use. Uh, so, here phi is function of n minus 1 variable. So, grad phi square. So, I will not explicitly write every time the variables may be different. So, in this case I will just write. So, <coughs> just remember this and compare this with your line integral. Okay, so, this is just an extension of that. So, <coughs> in this discussion on integration on surfaces, we always deal with functions which are uh, functions of n minus 1 variables and this grad phi square uh, is with respect to those n minus 1 variables. They may not be all the time x 1, x 2, x n minus 1, but one variable missing from x 1, x 2, x n. Okay. So, for our purposes we consider, uh, okay, just I will forgot to mention one important thing here, this phi. So, we need some smoothness. So, phi is m. Okay. So, and m is at least 1. Okay. Then, we call this simple piece of class C m. Okay. So, now we extend this one for other surfaces and we consider, we consider
surfaces. So, n minus 1 dimensional surfaces yes which are finite union ok. So, for our purposes it is a finite union of simple pieces. S j ok. So, this means S is S j say j equal to 1 to n and e S j is a simple piece. And if each S j Uh, is of class C m C m. So, again m is at least 1 uh, then we say yes is also of class C m. Okay. So, let us write uh, in uh, <coughs> elaborately what S j is. So, S j okay, S j is given by so, now let me write x p some coordinate and this one is phi j. So, x 1 x 2 x p minus 1 and x p plus 1 x n. So, this coordinate p depends on j. Okay, there could be more choices as we saw in R 2 and so this is projected projection on to x p equal to 0 and that domain you call it d j. Okay, so, this is consists of all the points x 1 x p minus 1 x p plus 1 x n. Uh, okay. <coughs> and phi j is from d j to r and the points of s j are given by x 1 x 2 x p minus 1 and p th coordinate is replaced by this function phi j and rest again the variables are same. Okay. So, in this case when I take grad phi j square it will be with respect to these variables or so, just remember that. Okay. So, there could be again some overlapping here because we are not uh, assuming uh, disjoint union. So, we need to be little careful in uh, defining the integral ok. So, again let uh, f from s closer to r be a continuous function So, for a simple piece we have defined the integral of f over s and now we extend that. So, define in fact using again Riemann sums actually you can uh, get this integral ok. So, just for our purposes I am just defining this f d s ok. So, now 
this S contains S is union of uh, n simple pieces, but there could be overlapping. So, we have to take care of that. Okay. So, just n integral I will say d j prime. Okay. So, prime because we have to avoid uh, the overlapping. Okay. So, let me call it f j. So, there is a function f j. I will define that and then you that usual one 1 plus grad phi j square. Okay. So, this let me write it once it is cumbersome, but you have to remember. Okay. So, again this is an n dimensional n minus 1 dimensional integral. Okay, so, the variable x p is missing there. Okay, so, what is d j prime? So, where? So, you start the counting somewhere. So, that, that you take it full. Okay, d 1 prime is uh, d 1 and for j bigger than 1. So, d j prime is the projection of. So, we do not want S j. So, we have to remove that overlapping. So, projection of S j the simple piece minus. So, you remove them. So, i i equal to 1 to j minus 1 and projection where on to x p equal to 0. So, remember p depends on j on to this hyperplane. Okay. In that way we avoid overlapping okay. and then we take the corresponding gradient square there and what is this f j and so f j is more generally defined on d j. So, f j let me repeat x 1 x p minus 1 x p plus 1 x n is equal to let me I have used superscript. So, let me just continue with that f j. So, this is nothing but f of. So, the variables remain same here because f is defined on s closer. So, we have to get a point on the s. So, this is p minus 1 phi j of those variables. And rest of the variables same only the p coordinate is replaced by phi j okay, and these are in more generally in d j. So, d j is the projection of s j onto the hyperplane x p equal to 0. Okay. And of course, now we have to the task is to verify that the definition is independent of the choice of the simple pieces. So, whatever uh, the given surface is union of those simple surfaces, this integral is independent of that. That is uh, one thing one has to do. Okay. So, that is left as an exercise and this one. So, let me just this one is called surf D s is called surface major. on S. So, it depends only on the surface we consider not on the simple pieces that make up our surface, surface major on S. Okay. So, this of course, we are just remember we are doing it for 
continuous function. So, here you can just use the Riemann integration. So, there is no problem at all. Okay. So, that is uh, uh, that is fine. Okay. And now, we want to extend this notion to <coughs> uh, discontinuous functions. So, in essence we would like to develop uh, a major and integration theory on surfaces and of course, this is again a uh, big topic. So, I just recall here uh, in a brief manner uh, starting from the notion of set of major 0, uh, there is a way we can develop uh, major and integration theory. Uh, if you have not seen it, so it is uh, good time to see that. So, you can build the entire Lebesgue uh, major and integration theory starting from Riemann integration and continuous function and with the notion of just a set of major 0. Okay. So, we are going to just define the set of major 0 uh, in S and that enables us to develop uh, the whole major and integration theory on surfaces. Okay. So, set of major zero in S. And this is just a primitive concept even for the uh, Euclidean spaces. So, the same thing we are going to use here. Okay. So, if again S j is a simple piece, S j is a simple piece. So, why you are using that? So, we can project it onto some hyperplane simple piece let d j be its projection onto some hyperplane x p equal to 0. Okay. Again remember this p depends on and there could be more choices, okay, but that does not matter. Okay. So, we say a subset uh, E in S j uh, is of surface major 0 if ok. So, let me draw this diagram. So, yes j is sitting here and d is d j is sitting here. So, this is the hyperplane x p equal to 0. Okay. So, this is some e here. Okay, let me use different. So, some piece. Okay. So, there is <coughs> a corresponding uh, set here. So, we call it E tilde here, okay, which is this is under that mapping that defines okay, there is a phi j here. Okay. So, that is okay. So, that y of phi j you get that E tilde. Okay. If E tilde contained in D j okay, uh, which is uh, 
pre image of E under phi z. Okay, so just remember that. Okay. is of n dimension n minus 1 dimensional major 0. So, this is the usual Lebesgue measure on R n minus 1 that is x p equal to 0 n dimensional major is 0. So, once we define this concept of set of major 0 uh, on a simple piece, so its extension to S is uh, immediate. Okay. So, a set a subset E now in S, okay, which is again finite union of simple pieces is called uh, a set of surface major 0 If E intersection S J, okay, so this is subset of uh, simple piece S J has surface major zero for all J. So, just remember S is this union of S j and each S j is a simple piece. So, this notion of set of surface major 0 helps us in defining two functions defined on S equal almost everywhere and then you can define the measurability of a function uh, etcetera. So, I will skip that thing, but you can develop that. So, okay. so from here from here means the notion of set of surface major 0 one can develop uh, a theory of major and integration on S starting with continuous functions. So, in order to develop, so the even in abstract way, uh, if you know integration on a specific class, for example, here continuous functions and the notion of set of major 0, then you can develop a theory of major and integration starting from continuous function. Okay, that is uh, very interesting and uh, the same formula extends to okay, the same formula this is. So, also star is also valid. So, let me just write, <coughs> write here. 
So, star is also valid for measurable functions. So, measurable functions are almost everywhere uh, limits of continuous functions, sequence of continuous functions. Okay. So, that whole theory there is also valid for measurable functions and then you can also define what measurable functions are integrable functions defined on S. So, in particular we can talk of we can talk of the space L to S. So, similar to the L 2 space on uh, Euclidean spaces. So, now with respect to surface measure, so these are class of all measurable functions defined on S which are square integrable. Okay. Uh, <coughs> so, I will just list a couple of references here. Okay. So, this of course, we, we have to uh, leisurely sit and do all the computations. Okay. So, just let me uh, two references. So, where you can. So, from here <coughs> one can develop okay, let me just mention that one okay, okay. Uh, further developments. So, these are important developments and uh, you can also also current literature you can find. So, once we develop this major and integration theory, so we can talk of distributions. Uh, okay, first, before that, let me just so integration theory. on manifolds. Okay. So, these manifolds are more general than surfaces. Okay. So, once you develop integration theory, you can talk of distributions on manifolds. So, you will find lots of literature on this and then eventually you analysis of P D on manifolds. So, for example, over the sphere, torus, etcetera. Okay. So, so, this just notion of integration on a surface leads to these developments. So, in this uh, context, I would like to say here two references. Okay. So, one is this Raghavan Narsivan. Of course, these are bit old books, but still very relevant and to learn something afresh. Analysis on real and complex manifolds.
<coughs> this is published North Holland, this is 1973. Okay, so, in this book you find the development of integration on manifolds and it also contains a chapter on PDE uh, where some elliptic regularity are discussed and there is a discussion on Soblow species also. So, you can look into that. Another one is Lars Harmander. These are not easy books easy to read. So, so this Harmander has four volumes on this linear PDE. What I am referring here is volume 1 which is relevant for our course and this exclusively deals with distribution theory and Fourier analysis. Okay, so, this is uh, Springer second edition okay, that is what I may be there is uh, other edition now, but this is what I have. Okay, okay with uh, mentioning of those two references, I stop here and uh, in the next class, uh, we use this notion of integration theory on uh, and smoothness of the uh, surfaces in order to obtain a general result on extension of functions. Thank you.